Okay, this is for 2.2 polygons in the coordinate plane. That's your standard, and you're objected to be able to solve problems by drawing polygons in the coordinate plane with 80% accuracy or higher, given your independent practice. Two vocabulary words, polygons are basically closed figures formed by three or more line segments that meet only at the end point. Um, so they have to be closed. There's no extension lines or anything like that. Uh, vertex is basically the corners of the figure. Um, so a point where the two sides of the polygon meet. So for instance, if you have a triangle, it has one, two, three vertices. Okay, if you have a square, you have one, two, three, four vertices. And vertices can be represented using X and Y. Um, X comma Y on a coordinate plane. So basically, they can be used. Um, we can use order pairs to represent uh, vertices. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna find perimeter. And we're gonna find the area of a shape given the um, order pairs. So first thing we have to do is draw the figure or use the figure that is already drawn. I'm gonna draw the figure here because I'm not given a figure. So I'm gonna go two comma two, which is right here, so this A, and then two comma negative two, which is right here, that's B, and then negative two comma two, so I go left and I go up. Um, here, let me change that really quick. Negative, I'm gonna go negative two, negative two, as a C, and then D, I will do negative two comma two, okay? And so that's C and this is D and then I'm gonna connect the dots. And now I have my shape, so I did uh, number one. Number two for the perimeter, remember perimeter is a distance around the shape, okay? Um, so find the distance of each side. So I'm gonna take, so this is, let me write those down. Okay, so if I take the distance between A and B, um, was the same, the x coordinates, so I'm going to ignore those, but I'm going to look at this is 2. They have different signs, I'm going to add the absolute values. So I go absolute value of 2 plus absolute value of negative 2, that's 2 plus 2, which is 4, so I have, that's 4 units. B, C, I have this 2, so was the same, the same is my, uh, my y value, so I'm going to ignore those, I'm going to work with my x values, and because they are opposite sign, because they're not on the same line of the axis. Uh, I'm gonna add the absolute values. So then again, I have negative two, plus absolute value of two, that's two plus two, that gives me four, okay? C and D right here, was the same? My X values, so I'm gonna ignore those, I'm gonna work with my Y values. So absolute value of two, plus absolute value of negative two, that's two plus two, that's four. And then lastly, I'm gonna work with this two, was the same? The Y value, so I'm gonna work with X values, so that's negative two, plus two, absolute value of two, that's two, plus two, that's four, okay? So I did all of that, so each, this is four, this is four, four units, four units, okay? Now I'm gonna add them all up. So four plus four plus four plus four, that's 16 units. So this has a perimeter of 16 units. Now, if for instance I say every single unit is five miles, give me the distance, okay? You're gonna have to convert, so you're gonna have to multiply. So then I go 16 times five, that is 80. So this, I can say there's, you know, if I were to go around the shape, that will be 80 miles all around the shape. Okay, let me go ahead and do this one and I'll, do, I'll give you one to do. Um, <clears throat> so I already drew the figure. I'm gonna explain to simple shapes. This one I don't need to. That would be like in the case if you get something like this and you have to split into like two rectangles, right? But I'm not gonna do that because I only have a simple shape here. And then I'm gonna use the formula to find the area of each figure. So in this case, I noticed that they're all, the size all, they're all the same, um, so therefore, that is a square, and how do I find the area of a square? I do square, side square, okay, so time, side times side. And so what's the, what's the length of one side is four, so I go four square, which is 16. In this case, it's the same, but be careful because, for instance, if it is, the distance was three, that would be three square, which will be nine, okay, it's not gonna, not gonna be 12, it's not gonna be six. Um, so in this case, it will be six square units, square units, okay? And again, if they were to tell you, okay, they're inches, then you're going to say 16 inches square, whatever the case may be, okay? Let me give you one to do. Okay, go ahead and draw this on, an, on a graph paper. Find the, the perimeter, so what's the perimeter for this one, for that shape, and find the area for that shape, okay? Um, and then we're going to say, so I want you to find the perimeter in units, and then perimeter in units. Okay, and uh, we're gonna say that every unit on the order pair equals one inch. So give me in inches and in square inches. Okay, God bless you. Bye.